Good morning. It's December 1st, but I'm still doing my November reading. I started reading Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier for the Gone with the Book Readathon, and I'm not finished. So I'm going to keep reading that. I'm going to start my reading vlog by finishing a book that I was reading previously. I don't even know if I mentioned it in the last reading vlog, but I guess I did. So let's just keep on reading, right? Another pack of diapers finished. We are up to size one in the Huggies Pro Snugglers. And yeah, this is another pack of 32 finished. Another successful diaper change. You look worried, what are you worried about? We have more diapers, don't worry. I finished my first Daphne du Maurier novel and I really enjoyed it. This was a five star read for me. Now I want to read more from her, but first I guess we have to tackle the December TBR, right? Hey baby, how you doing? Hmm? Look at the size of my hand to the size of your hand. Huh? Wow, you're gonna grow up to be big like me. Huh? Are you looking up to see what's going on? Yeah, I'm filming you again. Yeah, I'm filming you again. Want to smile for the camera? Hmm. Not a morning person, are you? That's okay. Me neither. Huh? Do you like your fox outfit? You do, right? We're going to go downstairs now. It's snowing outside, and you're going to have your first snowfall. Should we go outside and see the snow, or should we watch it through the window? I think we should watch it through the window. We're a little bit stalled. We were going to film a video. We were going to make our November recap. But Baby Brown decided that she didn't want to be in the swing. She wanted to be on camera. Or at least she wanted to be in my lap while I filmed. She's like, how, come you, how, can you, how can you leave me out of all the fun? You can put me in the swing and leave me. So we're going to film this video as soon as she... Finishes her lunch. But for now, slurp, 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 slurp. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Our first snowfall of the season. Baby Brown's first snowfall of her life. Oh my goodness. This is epic. Letter A makes the sound ah. The letter B makes the sound of b. The letter C makes the sound K. When you see those letters, you're going to make that sound. When you put the letters together, make words. And that's how you read. That's how you write. So when we put those letters together to make words, we each letter, we're going to sound it out. A makes the sound A. Ah. B makes the sound B. C makes the sound K. We could make a word with those first three letters. C, A, B. So C makes the sound K. A makes the sound A. And B makes the sound B. So we pronounce that word by sounding out the letters. Ab, k, ab, cab. You're smiling. Cab, cab, c a b, k, a b, cab. That's your first word. That's the first word that you can spell with the first three letters of the alphabet. So see, you could read already. You could start reading. Eating leftovers for lunch in bed. While I watch this little one sleep. It's okay if you don't like it. You can spit it out. 
Oh, you lost your lunch. The good thing is there's more where that came from. It's okay if you spit it up. You can get more. No charge. No charge. No charge. I'm not going to charge you. It's free. Free refills. So if you... It's December 2nd. Let's see what Book of the Month Club has for us this month. Let's log in. December Books, Dear Edward, by Anne Napol Napolitano. Red, White, and Royal Blue. Casey McQuiston, that's a debut. Then we have a mystery, Long Bright River, The Glittering Hour. And The Wives, Domestic Suspense, Taryn Fisher. Ah, let's check these out. You okay? Hey there, Booty Walk. Hey there, Booty. Welcome back to my channel. It is December 3rd. We're here for day three of Vlogmas. Today, we're going to talk about the books that I want to read in December. And of course, these are some of the books that I have on my book winning shelf. Hey, how are you feeling? Feeling a little better today? Mommy needs you to hurry up and get better because we need to get back to homeschooling. We need to get back to ABCs. That's the first three letters. We have 26 letters to get through in the alphabet. So you gotta hurry up and feel better, okay? Homeschooling needs to resume soon. Got it? So feel better. Get well soon. From your teacher and your mommy. I've been meaning to get to Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel for some time. So when I heard that Doris and Heidi and Valentina were doing a buddy read, I really wanted to join in. So I begged them and they added me. So I'm reading Wolf Hall with those ladies. And the schedule I think is 25 pages a day. So I have some catching up to do. I think they started on the first. I hear that Heidi's already at page 100 though. So I'm gonna try to read faster. <laughs> I'm trying to get a picture for grandma. I'm trying to get a picture for grandma. Can I get a little smile? Can I get a little smile, baby? No? Yes? No? Okay. So close. There's the morning. <laughs> we finally got outside. The baby hasn't been feeling well for a few days. She's having some problems with gas. And because of that, she's not really in the mood to do anything. And if she's not in the mood to do anything, nothing gets done. But we made it out this morning. We went to get a little walk. And I stopped by the store and grabbed a few snacks. So if I don't get back out for another couple of days, then I'll be fine. <laughs> So, I've been reading. I have been re-reading re Heat and Dust by Ruth Prower Javala. That's her Booker Prize winning novel set in India. And I need to film a review for the channel today. I also started a buddy read of Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. That's another Booker Prize winning novel. And I'm reading that with Heidi and Doris and Valentina. And I'm also doing a body read of Fountains of Silence by Ruth Sepetis, but my copy didn't come in from the library. So I'm gonna try to order it from Amazon, except that the Amazon order won't come until Saturday. So I have to check in with the ladies and see whether or not that's okay. I don't know when our first check-in is, because they started reading yesterday, and I thought I would have gotten my copy by now, but I haven't. So I'm just trying. Um, I also started Travels with Epicurus by Daniel Klein and I didn't get very far. <laughs> so that's my reading life for today. I need to film some Vlogmas videos, I need to do some house cleaning and just get started on putting up Christmas decorations. I just pulled a lot of books from my TBR shelf as well as from my red shelf. These are for videos that I'm planning to make today. Whether or not I'll be able to edit these videos, we'll have to see because, well, the little one is in my lap and I don't know how much time she's going to give me later. Let's see. No, don't cry. Don't cry. Mommy going to pick you up just now. I'm still not really sure how it happened, but somehow... I had her in my lap feeding her and then somehow this happened and now I'm a little reluctant to move her because she looks so comfortable, I feel so comfortable. Sometimes it's hard to get out of bed, to move away from this 
and go do anything else, especially when those other things just don't feel that urgent. Also, I'm reading a used copy of this book, Wolf Hall. I got it as a gift from my friend Patrice. We started off as pen pals when we were teenagers, and we've continued being friends now that we're way past teenagers. Um, she sent me Wolf Hall along with the sequel, Bringing Up the Bodies, and this postcard was in the book. I don't think I've ever seen it before, so I'm assuming that it was in this copy, which is a used copy, but of course used in almost brand new condition, because that's how I like it. <laughs> And this is a postcard from the Cloisters Walk, Salisbury Cathedral, which is in England. And this, of course, is a book about the English monarchy. So that's apropos and really cool. Visitation, 1529. They are taking apart the Cardinal's house. Room by room, the King's men is tripping York Place of its owner. They're bundling up parchments and scrolls, missals and memoranda, and the volumes of his personal accounts. They're taking even the ink and the quills. They're prizing from the walls, the boards on which the Cardinal's coat of arms is painted. It requires a lot of face to keep so calm, but then the Cardinal has face. It's a little overcast, so I brought the baby out. And I think she's concerned that this rain might mess up my hair. I think that's what she's thinking when she's looking up at the sky like, mommy, do you see that it's gonna rain? And my hair is not protected. Either that or she's sleepy. <laughs> it's Friday morning. We finally made it out for our morning walk. It's not really morning anymore. It's about one o'clock now, but it looks so overcast. Like it looks so much later. So we're heading home now to film our Friday Reads video and tell you guys what we've been reading, what we've been finishing, which is nothing, what we've been starting, which is a lot, and all of that. These neighbors are not into Christmas, or if they are, they're a little lax about getting up to it. But what am I saying? I haven't decorated yet either. We're here to film our Friday Reads video. Of course, Baby Brown is in my lap. She's always here when I'm filming. <sighs> Even if I put her down to sit next to me or to lie next to me, she's not excited about that. She likes to be on her mummy. And if her mummy is sitting down for any period of time, she can't understand why she can't just lie on her. Right, Baby Brown? Is that your philosophy on life? We're going to be talking about a book about philosophy in the Friday Reads video. Maybe you could share your philosophy with the people. No? Okay. She's sleeping. <laughs> I'm probably dreaming about milk. Right? Is that what you're dreaming about? Is that what you're dreaming about? She said, Mommy, that's all I know. These are the three print books that I'm going to be talking about in the Friday Reads video today because I don't have a copy of Fountains of Silence yet and I don't have time to edit videos to put in screenshots. So this is it. <laughs> she makes the cutest little noises while she sleeps. <laughs> I already know what's in the package from Amazon, but this packaging that they're using makes it feel like it's a gift. So I'm sharing my unboxing with you. You already know what it is too, right? <laughs> It is The Fountains of Silence by Rita Cepedes. I'm doing a buddy read of this one. And we started already. They're waiting on me to check in. So I need to read to page 100 and something by tomorrow. It's a pretty thick book, but it's less than 500 pages. So now that it's here, I'm going to read. <laughs> I'd say getting peppermint candy canes is the first step in putting up Christmas decorations. Wouldn't you agree with that? My current situation, this little one, is in my lap, and I'm reading Wolf Hall. The baby just went down for a nap, so even though I'm not going to be able to decorate today, I'm at least taking out my Christmas ornaments, see what I have, see what I need. I have almost nothing, I need almost everything because, well, last year we were married, we were living in the house together, but we weren't here for Christmas, at least not for the day. So we didn't really decorate, plus we had just come off the wedding, so we didn't really want to do decorating. So this is really our first year together as husband and wife and baby, and I want to make it special. This is a Christmas ornament that we got last year as a wedding gift. We didn't use it, so we're going to be using our Christmas, our Mr. and Mrs. Christmas ornament this year. We've got stockings, and we've got three stockings, so... 
I guess I always knew that there was going to be a baby in our future. <laughs> hey. What's up? Feeling a little better? Feeling a little better? Are you feeling a little better? What's up? So here we have this bag of books. Let's go through it. First up is Vinegar Girl by Ann Tyler. Look who's joined me for the filming. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. You've joined me for filming. Mm -hmm. Do I have to pay you? Huh? Does this mean that I have to uh, comply with child labor laws and stuff like that? You know what? Have your people call my people, okay? For a quick reading update, I'm up to chapter 25 in The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Cepedes. I just did a check-in with my buddy readers. And the backdrop of this one is Spain during the dictatorship of Franco. And I didn't know too much about this history before, so I'm glad that I'm reading it for that reason. And while this is historical fiction, the chapters are very short and they're interspersed by clippings from newspaper articles, some kind of an oral history about what really went down during this time. And so I'm learning some things about the history, so I'm really liking that. The fact that the young people who are characters in this novel, they are opposing the dictatorship, but they can't speak about it. That's kind of why we have Fountains of Silence as a title at this point. And I'm liking that so far. I'm also reading Wolf Call by Hilary Mantel. And this one is a little bit more difficult. The writing is superb, but it's also hard to keep track of the characters sometimes just because there are so many characters that we're moving back and forth. The story is set in England during the time that Henry VIII wants to divorce his wife and marry Anne Boleyn. And we're following Thomas Cromwell and the Cardinal as they work to oppose that in some way. And I'm loving this as well, but even though the writing is so good, I found it a little difficult to keep track of the characters just because the author uses their names at different points to refer to them and I'm not always sure who's speaking. So I just downloaded the e-audiobook from my library overdrive and I'm reading and listening. So hopefully it will be a little bit clearer as I go forward. I'm really liking it though. I'm liking the writing style and of course I'll continue these tomorrow. So I'll end the vlog here. I'm still reading Travels with Epicurus. I didn't finish it, but these are what I was reading today. So this is it for this week's reading vlog. We'll start another one tomorrow. Hope you'll come back for the next Vlogmas video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'd love to talk with you in the comments. Let me know which part of this vlog, which part of my reading week or my week in general resonated with you. So let's talk down there. And until next time, until tomorrow, happy reading. Bye.